Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to They Are Here. This is finally a good alien horror game. Recently, we had this game called The Grey Hill Incident that came out that was also an alien horror game. However, you didn't even see a video of that one on the channel because it was absolutely horrendous. One of the worst games I've ever played. However, this one right here is also an alien horror game that's coming out soon. And in this video, we're going to play the demo as well as the prologue. And oh boy, you are in for a treat because this is what an alien horror game is supposed to look like. And I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go the prologue tells the story of the first ufo contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo version the main character is private michael anderson who serves at a military base near Grayswood farm they all are named gray something by chance he becomes witness of a terror of a terrible inexplicable event oh boy air force base august Delta, oh. this is Alpha. Voice acting? We Are they all going to have tinfoil hats like 200 in Grey Hill Incident? Degrees. 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. Alpha, is that a meteor? Geopo. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. Oh. Alien time? They're introducing themselves. No answer. Switching to heat control. Damn, this is awesome. We're just gonna blow it up. Delta, I have strong interference. Say again. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins push down. Ten seconds to land. Saying again. Looks like a meteor. Alright. Actual good voice acting in a game. It can be done. Oh boy. <laughs> we got a radar thingy. Damn, this is cool looking. This game looks awesome. This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We we'll conduct surveillance from the air. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. Ah uh, well. Let me zoom. I read you five by five, sir. Out. I can zoom. I read you five by five. I don't know this terminology, man. Oh, air support. Hi there. It's me. Don't shoot me. This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. Oh. Damn, this is a high production quality. I like it. I like that they're taking ex themselves more serious. Okay, that was my... I mean, besides the terrible gameplay, my main issue with Grey Hill Incident was just how... Like, it was... A terrible meme game that seemingly also took itself seriously with a terrible ending, terrible gameplay. Like, there was really nothing that, nothing good to say about it. So, I've been on the lookout for good horror games ever since, or good alien horror games ever since. And this one seems to hit the spot just perfect. I don't know how long this prologue is, though. We're just checking it out. Hello, Mager. This is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Counter indicator is average. What? Radiation? I don't have a. Is this a Geiger counter as well? The devices are a little naughty? What does that mean? <laughs> Is that terminology? Is that a technical the term? The acting funky. Oh, more radiation. It's 
literally well, maybe, right in front of me. What the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. Uh, I wouldn't go here anymore. I'm just walking into a. Can't beat that every breaks down at the same time. Seems that there's some kind of anomaly here. Hello, Larry. Thank you for the 17. Oh boy. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. It seems like it's always the exact same distance, no matter how close I get. come any closer if I were you, but I guess we will. Damn, that was awesome. Also, rip that guy. Holy Can shit. anyone hear me? Over. Oh, no. I'm scared. Can anyone answer? Damn it. Press N to switch to night vision or outlast style. I kind of like this, though. I can hear it. It is humming. The night vision barely helps. Are they communicating? Oh, no. What the hell? What the fuck is that, bubbly? Ugh. It's like the... Oof. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Is it like, it's like, it reminds me of the stuff from The Incredibles, like the... What they shoot, what the, like, villain shoots. Oh my god, the base here. Holy shit, we have contact. What is this? <laughs> oh. Damn. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, hi! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alien. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. Get out of here. Can we get closer? Are we supposed to try and get closer? Oh, it turned off its light. Oh, oh no. They're everywhere. They're everywhere? They're behind me. Oh! What? <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. Okay, wait. So this happens before this looks like a good game. This is what I want. Instead of janky ass characters with freaking tinfoil hats, give me a game that kind of takes itself serious. Okay, so now let's play the demo. So this happens, that happened, and then we go into the demo. Okay, unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all animals went crazy. The dogs became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone has wa was walking under their windows 
Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist T Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Here we go. This is genuinely awesome. I can't wait for the full game now. I really like how they... Oh, here we go. Talk to the farmer, Peter Sherman. How they made that uh, look like what would happen if aliens actually arrived. Oh, we got photo. And how the... I feel like the military would respond quite a bit more aggressively than that. I feel like they would just freaking blow it up. <laughs> something on there i don't think they would wait to try and communicate someone walking in the for in the cornfield miss uh mr fox we made an appointment but something bad happened our daughter went missing my wife went to town for help my son and i went to check out the farm we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other be careful peter sherman inspect the house Okay. Hi. That's the family. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. They look very happy. They're on the Ruto running. Look at that. I'm jealous. I want to do some hiking. Newspaper. Mysterious sky object seen here in Orono. This is the best UFO photo of all time. Uh, I'm sick. Down-to-earth approach to alien visitors. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. This phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Thank you, Anitra. Uh, anyone here? Why did you guys leave all the lights on if you were going to leave? Okie dokie. Apparently, it belonged to the miss. What, something happening outside. It belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Verify. Uh, photo. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed. The window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by aliens. Megan. Uh, she literally has a drawing of an alien. Oh my God. Not the doggy. And the blood on the hands of the alien. Look at that. Feels bad, man. Not that, not the doggy. I hate dogs. Did I even close the door? I don't remember. Oh. Uh, I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures already. And I know we're, this is like <laughs> shitting on Grey Hill incident video, but <laughs> the aliens in that game are these like tiny little bitches that making like... <laughs> noises it's so ridiculous you can't take them seriously so i'm glad they actually made them look menacing in this one these are not little green men but big creepy and dangerous creatures basically they can be described in the following way a large head disproportionate to the body no hair bottomless black eyes gray skin long thin limbs their voices are like nothing else these aliens are very aggressive towards people it all starts with bright lights in the sky near home which move along a certain way then people start to have a nosebleed have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears and animals start raging next people start to have memory lapses when they come back to normal they find themselves in unexpected places for example in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experience. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. 
Also, they found marks on the body, incisions to be exact, during palpation. It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Ugh. Look at that. They're literally moving. Oh, is this... Is this a photo? Is this, uh... Like, from when I got captured? Is that the video? That I just took? My goodness. From... Photo from the internet. Peter... Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Oh, look at that. That's just blurry. Excuse me. What the hell? Um, oh, found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? The day was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fin finished fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bl bright and it's, I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I w was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Take a photo of the diary. You're just gonna, like, forget that that happened? How? How would you forget that that happened? That is, like, the most life-changing event. Oh. Oh my god. Um. Help? Are we gonna get abducted? Help! Oh. Okay, I didn't die. I didn't get abducted. What the fuck? Terrifying. The television. This game got some bass. Turn that off, please. Oh. Alien film? <laughs> Sound like it was in the house. What are you doing out there in the forest, lady? Dude, great quality video. I love it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, it's the universe. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction! I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I, that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. Definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. What? Oh. Oh, he cut out. 
A little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Sure, I'll take it. I'll take the alien implant. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Run. Run. Oh, God. There's more. Uh-oh. Help! Oh! Oh, what the fuck was that sound? This classic jump scare noise. Run to the car! I'm trying! I ran out of stamina! Go, go, go! Yeah, no, but I can't. I sprint. I'm so slow. Made it. Can I go? There. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> And this is just like the demo plus prologue combo. There you go. In the full game, you will find the large territory of Greywood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. I can't wait. Add to wishlist for sure. That is good. Now they just need to deliver in the full game because I'm going to be cautiously optimistic. If that's anything to go by, this is going to be the only true alien horror game we've seen in a very long time. I'm super excited. That was way better than I expected. I really hope you enjoyed it over on YouTube as well. Let me know what you think. I'm excited for They Are Here. Game to look out for. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over on twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.